Hi everyone, this is Lawrence for WaysToWatch.com and today I want to do the unboxing of the limited edition Dark Knight Rises Blu-ray Combo Pack. Here we have it. The Blu-ray Combo Pack with the back cow, the limited edition Dark Knight Rises set. Now, we had to go through some battles to get this set. When we went to the store, we got there an hour early, you know, you got to show up early for something big like this. Makes sense, right? But we said, hey, we asked the lady. The lady said it comes out at this time. I said, fine. So I went and played a little Madden football, a little Madden 2013 on a PS3. Then I look up about 15 minutes before the time and there's a line forming. You know what I did? I walked straight to the front of the line. Everybody looked at me a little crazy, but I said, hey, look. I was here an hour early. You guys are our newbies. Y'all just showing up. So anyway, we almost got in a little scuffle. Everybody was puffing up chest, but it was worth it. No blood was shed. Everybody was cool. Everybody was cool. So we actually were able to get our limited edition of The Dark Knight Rises. And uh, But it was definitely worth the little tension that happened. You know, you could cut it with a knife, as they say, when things get intense. But we have it. Here it is, limited edition, Blu-ray combo pack. You get the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the ultraviolet digital copy. And you know what? This is what's official. A limited edition that's certified, you actually get a number. Our number is 13,218 of 35,000. That's it, whole country. Now, honestly, I don't know if that's the whole world, but it's definitely, I'm sure, in the country. Because the way people were ready to fight me for this one, I'm sure it's not any more being made in the world. Then you also get, obviously, you see here, the ultraviolet digital copy, your movies in the cloud, so you could download them, watch them anywhere. And then, obviously, we see inside, because it's all clear plastic, the Dark Knight Rises, the broken mask. On the side... We have The Dark Knight Rises with the man, Christian Bale, the best Batman ever. Definitely better than George Clooney. And what's that dude's name? Uh, Val Kilmer? What? Definitely Christian Bale held it down. I mean, actually, you know what? I did like Michael Keaton for the old Batman. I know some people may not even remember that dude, but he actually, he wasn't bad for who he was, you know, for that time. But Christian Bale took it to a whole nother level. Then we have our man Tom Hardy on the back playing Bane. You know what? I like the voice he used for this movie. I liked it a lot. Some people didn't like the voice. I thought it was good. Tom Hardy, awesome actor. Loved him in Warrior. Vince told me to watch Warrior. I bought it. I loved it. I love Tom Hardy as an actor. Great actor. But we see here more Dark Knight Rises. Then on the top, see the bat. Nice. Um, really well designed. It looks really good. Um, nice simple touches, but all around just really cool because just having that transparent box, you're able to see right inside, see what you're getting for the most part. Now let's check out the back. The epic conclusion to the Dark Knight trilogy. Brilliant. Masterful filmmaking. Yes, Christopher Nolan, major props. Thus far, you know what? Seriously, you can't under overstate this. Uh, this is clearly the best comic book hero trilogy ever. Like already, like Iron Man, first Iron Man was hot. Second one, horrible. Yeah, I said it in your face, horrible. I mean, what's up, man? I don't even know the dude who was directing it. I know his name, I forgot his name actually. but. It seemed like he wanted to be in the film as much as Iron Man. But you know what? Clearly, tangent. I'm going to bring it back. All right. So, but yeah, you know, I, I just love this trilogy. I love Christopher Nolan as a director. Memento. I mean, just even from way back then. Um, the dude just brought a really uh, a level of realism and excitement and uh, intelligence to how he decided to make this film. And I'm sure a lot of fans also agree with me and appreciate the validity he brought to this particular film. But what we see here, it comes with 
the back cow, the cow actually holds the disc within it. And you get three discs inside. Now, another thing that's really good about this box set, you get over three hours of bonus features included. Uh, the Batmobile, Ending the Night, and much more. And again, WaysToWatch.com, that's what we're about. Much, much more, a greater experience. And also we see here, you also get the uh, second screen app for a better experience, uh, more content, more information, more details. What made this movie awesome? Part of it was just the awesome cast. Obviously, Christian Bale, best Batman ever. You have some classics, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, playing it. Oh, quick little side note. The sticker here, nice, very clean. Doesn't leave a lot of residue uh, when you take it off. Uh, obviously, Anne Hathaway, great Catwoman. Uh, Tom Hardy as Bane. Um, Marion Cotillard, I might be killing her name, but work with me people and so uh but yeah it was just all around great cast and uh you can't forget joseph gordon lev joseph gordon levitt uh three names okay looper saw him in looper very cool good movie but uh let me get back to the box opening the box is an experience unto itself You know what, the only other comic book that I think has a chance of surpassing The Dark Knight in terms of experience is The Avengers. Yeah, after the second Iron Man, I think Iron Man could have gave him a run for his money. But after the second movie, mm, I think the third looks like promising. But yeah, it doesn't have much of a chance there. Ultraviolet is cool. Really simple. Nice process. You want to watch it on your iPad or on your phone. Uh, it's really seamless because you could get a copy, a digital copy from iTunes or Vudu usually. But it looks like here uh, it'd probably be only from uh, Vudu or Flickster, one of the two, for you to be able to get it. But I'll have to look into it to see if you get an iTunes option also. Now, here is the main event. The Dark Knight Rises, the cow, the broken mask. And it looks like... All the discs are held right in the back. So I'll pull that out and let's get a close look. It looks great. I like the way it looks. Um, nice details. Yeah, and you can hear it squeaking because it is uh, that plastic you feel. But uh, you know what was great about this movie? Was that Bane was such a powerful villain because you know what the joker even though he was intense he was violent he was scary he was not nearly as strong physically or even as threatening he was like more threatening to the citizens of gotham whereas bane was a threat to batman himself and that's what made this movie hot you knew batman could actually lose we saw him lose and that raised the stakes of the movie that he needed help to actually win this battle. He couldn't figure it out totally on his own. And I think that's why I really like this movie. And I know many of you will totally disagree with me on this, but I thought The Dark Knight Rises was a far better movie than The Dark Knight. Go ahead, get it out your system. Let it out. It's okay. But yes, I think it was a better movie. Now, the disc, they come in a case that slides out of the bat cow. On this case, it's the bat symbol with the buildings of Gotham falling, tumbling around and creating that bat symbol. And uh, that's true on the front and on the back of, of the case. Now, in the case, we have the disc. So the first thing we see here is the Dark Knight Rises DVD. So here's the DVD with just a reflective surface in black. Uh, here's the Blu-ray disc with the bat symbol on it also. And the third disc 
has the special features. Again, in high def, this is a Blu-ray disc. Over three hours of footage included on this disc. So here we have it, the limited edition Blu-ray combo pack for The Dark Knight Rises with the Bat Cow. And obviously, this is the big selling point here is the Bat Cow, the cool case that holds all three discs. So we're gonna do a giveaway of this set. Yes, a giveaway. Now, here's the deal. For you to be eligible for this giveaway, you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we need to hit, what do you think? She waiting for 200, 300 subscribers. You know what? No subscriber minimum. I know we have contests going for Expendables 2, MIB 3, all of those require a minimum level of subscriptions for us to give those away. But for this, no minimum. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel, visit us on our website where this video is posted, and leave a comment in that section on the website, on that page, and you're set. You're eligible to win this limited edition Blu-ray combo pack with the back cow of The Dark Knight Rises. This is Lawrence for WaysToWatch.com. See you soon.